We're back for the last time at Jeddo's Patch, a Facebook garden club with a difference, built on the learnings of two passionate foodies, Dario and Michelle Franzinelli. One thing that I've noticed about your garden, Michelle, is that you guys are not scared to try things that are a little bit different or maybe not known out in the marketplace yet. This one here is a classic example, isn't it? Um, yes, this is uh, Moringa or drumstick tree. It's a superb plant. It's uh, edible. Every aspect of it is edible, um, from the root to the bean pods to the leaves, which can be used in salads or cooked. Um, very useful plant, very mild, nutty type flavour. Perfect for any garden. Um, it's almost drought proof once established. And I think one of the best things about it is that sometimes edible plants may not be the most attractive plants, but this is a beautiful looking plant, wonderful ferny foliage, yes. suit a really lovely soft sort of subtropical type setting, or you could even stick it into a native garden and it's still match in there as well. Yes, and it will provide you with shade in summer. Dario, it's not all about success. Sometimes there's a bit of trial and error, isn't there? Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> this mango, Finally, we've had success. Yeah. I've killed five. <laughs> you know, but you don't give up because with nature, not everything's a success story. You win some and you lose some. Most of them got killed by fungus or just me being a dumb person going about it the wrong way. And finally, if you talk to enough people, someone yeah. put me on the right track. He told me what to do, a raised bed, cow manure and whatever. And finally, we got one that's going and producing Fruit. Your first fruit. Our first one. Michelle is growing another one. This is an R2E2, yeah. and she's growing one from seed. It's a Kensington Pride, yes. and that's coming along nicely too. Now, speaking of seed, seed's obviously something that uh, is a big part of what you do here. You're obviously collecting seed and sharing it with other people. Yes. I know you've got a seed bank. Will you show it to us? Yes. This is the seed area. So this is the engine room for the garden, really? Yes. So, you know, collecting seeds is one important for continuing on, but you're able to share with other people through Facebook as well. Yes, we help a lot of people on Facebook. The beauty of it is you can interact with them, you tell them what you've got, and you can put uh, post pictures on there yep. and show them what you've done. Yep. And people out there, you can put a, pose a question saying, has anyone got this? And you get a response because there's, at the moment, we've got about 133 members and expanding. Quickly, I've noticed, yeah. It's, and very active members, too. There's a lot oh, of contribution going on. Yes. I think it's a very important aspect, learning how to save seed. You can't save the seeds of every plant that you grow, but even saving a small amount, you're, yeah. you're on the way to, to gaining skills and also gaining some control over what you grow. Mm -hmm. 